When it comes to cartoons, Nickelodeon does it best. From a kid with goldfish who are secretly fairies to a lovable sea sponge who owns a meowing pet snail, Nicktoons have completely shaped pop culture. SpongeBob SquarePants is a domestic sitcom, a workplace comedy, a fantasy series, and pretty much everything else that crossed the minds of its creator, Steven Hillenburg. It's phenomenally successful, and it's the show toward which the whole Nicktoons project was built. One part of the success is a visual sensibility, while another is that the show is hilarious no matter who you are. The show was a hit right out of the gate, and in the years that followed, it evolved into a full-blown media franchise, spawning video games, successful feature films, and even a Broadway musical. It became a global phenomenon because its offbeat sense of humor appeals to children and grown-ups in equal measure. Though the cartoon is fast-paced, that style still couldn't cover up some mistakes. No animator is perfect, and it can happen to the best. Nevertheless, let's have a look at 10 Nickelodeon mistakes in Spongebob. SpongeBob had a very hard time trying to earn his license, but when he finally did, it revealed a rather strange fact. The viewers first learned of SpongeBob's age in the episode Sleepy Time when they saw a driver's license containing his date of birth, July 14th, 1986. As shown then in Briny Buddies, the expiration date of SpongeBob's license confirmed that it was made before 2003. Using his birth date, he was at least 13 and at most 17 years old when he received the license. However, the SpongeBob Bob SquarePants movie showed that this quirky sea sponge was a lot older than we thought. According to one scene, SpongeBob has won Employee of the Month 374 consecutive times. That's a total of 31 years, which would make SpongeBob around 45 if those dates add up. Though that would certainly explain some of his actions throughout the series, it is still a strange thing since everyone in the movie refers to Spongebob as a kid. Even stranger is the fact that Mr. Krabs was born on November 30th, 1942, which means that the character is now actually 75. The show knows that it's filled with continuity issues and it's unapologetic in its lack of continuity. A great example of this is the ever-expanding question of whether or not Spongebob has bones. Spongebob has proven time and time again that he lacks bones and that his flexible body can be maneuvered in many helpful situations. However, some episodes show otherwise. There are many episodes in which Spongebob is seen breaking a bone or producing a skeletal form. In a similar case, some episodes show that Spongebob is made entirely of a sponge-like material. He even refers to himself as an invertebrate and squishes his shape freely. For example, in the episode called Squirrel Jokes, SpongeBob shows how he can twist himself up and even claims, I got no bones. I mean, we're so dumb, we don't even have a vertebrae. <laughs> Look at me! I got no bones! But in the episode I had an accident, SpongeBob's x-rays reveal that he has bones. Besides many continuity errors, there are also those concerning some locations in the Bikini Bottom. This was the case with the most famous place in the cartoon, Krusty Krab, as well as the Chum Bucket. In some episodes, they are on the left past Patrick's house, but in other episodes, they are on the right past SpongeBob's house. However, in other cases, they even appear to be on a different road. There are not only several episodes, but several scenes in one and the same episode where the Krusty Krab appears, but the Chum Bucket does not. Sometimes, Chum Bucket it appears to have a straight street that connects it to the Krusty Krab. However, in other episodes that changes as the street either appears to be longer or does not appear there at all. For example, in the episode called Whale of a Birthday, the Bikini Bottom High School is across from the Krusty Krab instead of the Chum Bucket. As we've mentioned earlier, it seems that SpongeBob SquarePants lacks bones most of the time, making his body so flexible it can be maneuvered in many situations. It goes as far as the situation where he sometimes doesn't even notice some part of him is missing, but the viewer's keen eyes do. In the episode called Rock Bottom, Patrick and SpongeBob enter the bus after visiting the fun time amusement park Glove World. But while boarding the bus, SpongeBob's right arm is seen missing for a few seconds, until reappearing again once he starts moving. Near the end of the same episode, there is yet another mistake when Spongebob arrives back to Bikini Bottom. Spongebob's pineapple is animated differently from the other buildings, and we won't even mention the strange case of a glove underneath Spongebob's eyes. 
One thing that remained unmistakable to this day is the colors of the main characters in SpongeBob SquarePants. However, that's not the case with some supporting characters, which is understandable since the show has seen many of them throughout its 20 years. During the episode called Pets or Pests, SpongeBob finds a worm in a bush, which he claims as a new pet and names it Mrs. Wormsley. But Mrs. Wormsley proceeds to give birth to her worm babies, and SpongeBob is stuck with a whole family of worm like creatures. To save the babies, SpongeBob is forced to sabotage a garbage truck while angering some garbage men. But when one of them shows up to wipe the slime off SpongeBob's face, he is completely blue. But in the very next scene, he appears to be green as he was showing the slime to the other garbage man. Hmm. What is it? I'd recognize this goo anywhere. It comes from a baby spotted glistening meadow worm. Krabby Patties became very popular among all the characters on the show, with everyone wondering what is it that makes them so delicious. We already know that the hamburger itself is a mixture of lettuce, tomatoes, tartar sauce, mayo, flour, turmeric, sea salt, land salt, barnacle shavings, the patty, mustard, ketchup, two buns and onions, the secret formula and cheese. But one of the biggest running gags in SpongeBob SquarePants is that of Plankton looking to steal the Krabby Patty's secret formula, which has been his biggest mission in life for years, and though he has come very close to achieving it, he's always bound to fail. In one of many episodes, it seems that he finally manages to do that, as we see him running away, carrying for him a giant Krabby Patty above his head. Though he quickly gets caught in a net, that is not the main problem of the scene. Namely, as he was running towards the camera, we see that the Krabby Patty is missing one very important ingredient. In the first scene, there is no cheese whatsoever, however, in the very next cut, a slice of cheese magically appears. Speaking of Krabby Patties, due to their popularity, some of the most crowded scenes on the cartoon take place at the Krusty Krab. Apart from showing the main boss, Mr. Krab, and his employees, SpongeBob and Squidward, many customers are waiting for their favorite Krabby Patties that need to be edited. In one season 9 episode, Patrick decides to become a superhero and plans to clean up Bikini Bottom. However, as expected, he goes too far, which also includes taking food from Krabby Patty patrons. But in one moment, it seems that if he doesn't only take a burger from one customer, he steals his shirt as well. The next cut shows Spongebob presenting the burger to that customer who is still shirtless, but the moment Spongebob turns away, the white shirt magically reappears. It is not clear whether the next game with numbers was intentional or it managed to slip through editing and caught the eyes of the viewers. In an episode called Best Day Ever, SpongeBob sets out to have the best day ever with his friends. He planned on working a few hours at the Krusty Krab, go jellyfishing with Patrick, learn karate with Sandy, and end the day with Squidward's clarinet recital. Sadly, his day falls apart when his friends have bad days, which inevitably rub off on SpongeBob. His day becomes better after his friends encourage him that he made their days brighter and that his best day ever was helping his friends. Ironically, however, the episode best day ever was episode 20 in season 4, aka 420. The episode The Curse of Bikini Bottom features ghosts that are not able to hold things as they go through everything. In the same episode, when Spongebob was a ghost, he was not able to hold his spatula for very long and fell through the ground when he tried to sleep on his bed. However, in the episode Seance Schmeance, we could see totally different situations. Not only could ghosts hold things, but they were also able to eat whatever food Rusty Ricketts had made out of real objects. In a few episodes, there is even a combination of these two examples. Examples. In Ghost Host, a ghost was able to drive a motorcycle through a wall. Look out below! <laughs> <laughs> How was that? Even better the third time! This means that he was both able to stay in place and go through things. Farmer Bob is a Spongebob Squarepants episode from season 12, showing Spongebob and Patrick working a day on Old Man Jenkins' farm, much to his dismay. Their tasks are to get eggs from oysters, feed the worm hogs, milk old Bessie, and harvest Old Man Jenkins' field of kelp. They finish all these chores and after they get off the tractor due to finishing the last chore, Spongebob and Patrick get excited for the barn dance, until some aliens arrive due to seeing an invitation made by the tractor on the crop field. However, once Spongebob is first taken to Old Man Jenkins' farm, one shot shows him with a tie, while the next, when he is stretched about 50 meters tall by a bag of potatoes, the tie is missing. 
Thank you for checking this video out and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again thank you for watching and see you next time.